Mr. Molinaro, hi. I have a complaint. A little while ago, a construction crew was on my property and they installed a fire hydrant in a real inconvenient spot. I know, where's common sense, right? No, not at the end of my driveway. No, nope. not blocking my garage door. He's a character, a throwback, a classic, a true American story. He's been one of a kind and probably the last of his breed. It was the forgotten borough, known for the ferry, the bridge, and the landfill. No more. It's happening. Go, Jimmy, go. Go, Jimmy, go. Well, I talked her off the floor when she said, go, Jimmy, go. Staten Island Borough President James Molinaro, a registered conservative, is bucking his party to back Governor Cuomo's campaign for tough gun control laws, including a ban on assault rifles. What are you trying to hunt for, Molinaro said. Dinosaurs? Jim, congratulations on your remarkable journey in both politics and government in the city of New York. Also for your ability to help form the Conservative Party on Staten Island and bring a very clear voice of our borough to the rest of the city. As our borough president, you've been very instrumental in helping transform the College of Staten Island into the showcase that it is for CUNY today with all of the financial assistance we appreciate it and we thank you. Have a wonderful retirement. Thank you, Borough President Molinaro, for doing such a great job as our Borough President. I would like to thank you for supporting CSI CUNY, for helping students obtain a better education, and also for making the CSI campus a reality. Thank you. Hi, Jim. It's your buddy here, Mark. I'm just here to say thank you for all the wonderful things you've done for me and my family over the past five terms. Even as Deputy Borough President, you were amazing to me in the Roadhouse, and I wouldn't have what I have if it wasn't for you. And shame on term limits. I think that, you know, we could do great things together again in Staten Island. Hopefully, uh, I will see you soon, and uh, more socially now that you're going to be retiring. Thanks, Jim, for everything. God bless. Jim, thank you so much for your commitment in helping us restore the St. George Theater and for what you've done for all of Staten Island and the arts communities here. We thank you. And on behalf of our board, our staff, and of course my sisters, we say bravo. And as they say in show business, you'll be a tough act to follow and you deserve a standing ovation. Thank you. Jim, you can be justly proud for what you have accomplished here at New York Container Terminal. It was your vision that made this place happen. It was your vision that turned it from a shuttered facility to a vibrant part of the Staten Island community. We thank you, all of us here at New York Container Terminal, thank you for what you've done to bring this place alive and make it an important part of our community. Jim, you have done so much for the students in Staten Island. I think you're biggest accomplishment is that you cast the deciding vote to end social promotion. Now those struggling students are identified, they're getting the help they need before moving to the next grade. So thank you for your commitment to helping students in Staten Island. I was principal for the day at Eden 2. I was greeted by a very, very talkative and enthusiastic boy. Bully. Eleven years ago, my twin sister and I were diagnosed with autism. Jim, you have done more for people with autism and their families than anybody I've ever met. You've brought awareness to the needs, particularly of adults with autism. And on behalf of all of the families with autism, uh, I thank you. I laugh when I talk to one of my students and I say, you know, tell me one of your best friends. And he says, why, James P. Molinero, of course. On, on behalf of the Eden 2 family, I, I want to thank you for giving us the courage and giving us the funds to get started on our new building. It's gonna be an exciting thing for Staten Island and uh, we thank you from the bottom of our hearts. You're the best. Borough President, the Vanderbilt at South Beach, South Bend Grill and Boardwalk Cafe exists today because of you. I wanna personally thank you for your hard work and leadership. You will be sorely missed. 
Your leadership truly is shown by the committed individuals which surround you. I wish you the best on your next endeavor. So all the American Red Cross, all these people making these big salaries, these big salaries should be out there on the front line. And I am disappointed. And my advice to the people in Staten Island is do not donate to the American Red Cross. Borough President James Molinaro, who made international headlines on Thursday in slamming the American Red Cross response to Hurricane Sandy, took part in a conference call with President Barack Obama. Molinaro added, he made it very clear, we will do for you what you need. It's a tremendous response. Jim, when Staten Island's communities were ravaged by Hurricane Sandy and the beaches were washed away, you were there bringing us volunteers and donations of materials, food, clothing, and shelter. You're a remarkable man, and you helped me rebuild my house in Midland Beach. Thank you so much for your care and commitment to the people of Staten Island for all these years. Good luck, and enjoy your retirement. Jim, your generous gift is allowing us to build the Staten Island Arts Culture Lounge at the St. George Ferry Terminal. We're going to be able to do cultural programming for the 75,000 commuters that use the terminal each day. You truly care about Staten Islanders of all ages. Yeah. Yeah. Who's the borough president we wish that we could keep? J-I-M. M is for Molinero. M-M-Y. Y two M's because you're magnificent. Thank you, Mr. B. You know what? Just leave it here. My doctor told me to stay hydrated. <laughs>